Hello. Today, we're going to continue a look in my comic collection. I've selected a number of volumes today of hardcover comics. that I find particularly worthy of acclaim for their artistic beauty. First up is a book from the Horace Heresy range by the Black Library. The Horace Heresy is a precursor to the Warhammer 40,000 range of stories made by Games Workshop. And as such, it takes place 28,000 years in our future, around the year 30,000. This is the only graphic entry in the Horus Heresy series so far, and is an immediate sequel to Dan Abnett's novel, No No Fear. The script was written by Dan Abnett. And the art was painted by Neil Roberts. On the frontispiece we see a diagram of the McCrags on a, a starship built for war. On the orders of Roboto Gilamon, the Primarch of the Ultramarines Legion. of transhuman warriors. Created by the gene sorcery of the Emperor of Mankind. This is a limited edition version of the story. And I have number 302. I also got Dan and Neil to sign the book. Dan and Neil are both great guys. And Dan's actually dedicated one of his previous books to me. The lettering in this story was done by Nikki Fox Robot. She is credited inside the cover too. Here we see a dramatis personae of the 13th Legion Ultramarines, the good guys in the story, and the 17th Legion Word Bearers, the bad guys. The 13th Legion are led by Marius Gage, chapter master of the 13th Legions. First chapter, and the bad guys are led by Corfear on the Black Cardinal, Master of the Faith. And there's an excerpt from No No Fear, which explains briefly the events that take place immediately before the story begins. As the chapter master, Marius Gage is ordered to pursue Corfiran as he flees after attacking 
a master of ultramarines on the planet Kalth. A naval engagement takes place quite soon into the book. And we cut to see Corfiran being operated upon on a word bearer's ship, Infidus Imperator. After having his primary heart ripped out of his body. This is the end for this imperator. And this is the McCrag's honor. I've noticed there's a mistake here. And the gauge gives the order to prepare port batteries for a broadside. But when he passes the Infidus Imperator, it's actually the starboard side of the McCrag's honor which fires upon the smaller word bearer ship. Docking clamps are extended as the ships pass each other. And the ultramarines enter the word bearer's vessel through the gun ports. There's another slight mistake here. And that Masaro, the leader of the boarding party with the gold face mask, should be speaking these lines. Rather than the Marine who's entering the wood bearer's vessel. This is Masaro. Now you can see his golden death mask. Masaro witnesses a ritual taking place on the word bearer ship because the word bearers are consorters of demons and an act as a foul sorcery. ritual is used to teleport word bearers aboard the ultramarine's flagship. A vast number of hideous demons. Gage bellows. I have seen enough damn demons today. And slices into the monster. The ships are still clamped together. And he says, Your claws are sharp, demon. Mine is sharper, as he slices into it with his power sword. At this stage, Corfiron is recovering. And there's Mariah's cage victorious, looking rather splendid after defeating the demon. The enemy rips his clamps away and flees. And the crags on it pursues. Call Figurin uses. 
this warp dagger to cut a breach through reality it cuts through space and stars themselves into the warp where the infidus imperative flees the warp is an alternative parallel reality to our own populated by demons and the imperator disappears Gage gives the order to pursue despite the fact that they have no calculations and no idea what will happen when they follow the ship through there's a lovely spread here or rather a lovely two pages or you see the rear of McCrag's honor sailing into the warp rift. And the four of it emerging in the warp itself. You and Neil Zart takes on a crazy psychedelic 1970s feel. Wild colors and shapes. As the star field of reality is replaced by the nightmarish landscape of unreality. The colours even bleed through onto the bridge of the ultramarine's vessel. There's a particularly nice panel with Corfear on Master of the Faith exhorting his bridge through crew to come about and cut the throat of the ultramarine vessel. The ultramarines are blinded. As the infidus barrels around in strange planetoids. And this is another nice panel. We see the twisting nature of the warps and reality. It turns the planetoids into skulls. And McCrag's honor is hit by a vast shoal of demons which eat through the hull. Prompting Gage to order his marines onto the hull of the vessel itself in an effort to fight the demons off here you see the demons pouring across the exterior of McCrag's honour as ultramarines desperately battle them 